Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Ships, your place for self-care and relationship advice. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to find love by taking down your protective wall. Hello guys, so today I'm gonna to be talking about a really big topic, um, taking down your protective wall. So this is for people who have been hurt in the past, who've had bad relationships, um, if you just had a bad breakup or something like that and you know you've built up this protective wall and you are afraid to really reveal your true self um, because you know you're afraid of getting hurt now this happens to everybody every time we have a bad relationship there is a little bit of or bad breakup there is a little bit of a wall that goes up um, it just happens to everybody now some people are really good and really quick at taking that wall back down and just going back out there, you know, full steam ahead and finding a new relationship where some of us other ones are a little bit more worried about getting our getting hurt. So we put this wall up and it takes a lot um, more effort or time to bring the wall down. And sometimes we never bring that wall down fully, even if we enter into a new relationship. So I'm just going to be here to tell you guys that um, that protective wall is not doing you any good. <laughs> Um, it's good in certain certain circumstances for a short amount of time, but keeping that wall up forever and for always is never going to be a good idea. So first things first is let's think of a wall. When a wall goes up, it blocks both sides. So this means sure, you know, nobody's going to be getting in, but then you're not being able to get your true self out. So the wall blocks both sides. So let's just remember that. Keep that in mind that your true self needs to get out of the wall in order for you to establish a real connection with somebody. So your true self is vulnerable. So when you're vulner when you're vulnerable with somebody else, that means that they can hurt you. You know, you've opened up your soul and yourself to that person, so now they're able to hurt you. And even though that sucks and having trust into some trusting that with somebody else is very difficult. Um, the truth is if that's not there, if that vulnerability is not there, then true love can actually, can actually happen because you can't establish a real connection. So either they will feel like they're never really getting the real you, or they will also put up a wall and then you're not really getting the real them. So you can't really have a relationship, a loving, healthy relationship with somebody if the two of you are holding things back. Um, so the way I can prove this is that, um, there was a research a study done and it was looking into vulnerability and how important that is in terms of human relationships. Um, so what was discovered, um, was that shame is the fear of connecting with others. So shame, when you have shame or fear, you know, it's the fear of connecting truly with others. It's the fear of letting your full self be revealed to everybody else. Now, vulnerability is when you reveal your full self to others. Okay. Now rejection is when that full self is not accepted by others. So that's awful. Rejection totally sucks. It's like the worst feeling ever, but the opposite of that is connection. So when you reveal your true self unfiltered to somebody or to people and they are, it is accepted, that is connection. So that is when you really, really, you know, build a bond with somebody. So I'm not saying that you guys should go guns a blazing, you know, revealing your true self and your insecurities and your deepest, darkest secrets and stories um, to these to people right away. You definitely don't want to be doing that. So the wall does have a good place at sometimes it's, you know, it's worth it to keep that wall up in the beginning, you know, when you're not sure, you know, you don't want to go guns a blazing. But if you've been with somebody for a little while and you're really starting to like them and really starting to open up with them, you need to take that wall down and open up and just be vulnerable, you know, and being vulnerable means a lot of things. It, it means, it means that you're not, 
you're not manipulating them or playing games with them or you know you're just being honest you're just telling you, them your true feelings about certain topics you know if if he says oh is it cool if i don't come over tonight or whatever you know and and you don't feel cool about that because he said he would you know don't just be like oh yeah that's fine and then like try to manipulate him or or feel anger or resentment you know that's hiding your true self just open yourself up and be honest say Say, you know what, actually, that kind of hurts my feelings, but if we could do it tomorrow, then it would be great. You know, find a way to make it that you're you're always being honest, you're always telling your true feelings, um, but then you're just keeping his feelings in, um, in mind as well. So I'm gonna go over that one more time just because it's so important. So shame is the fear of connecting with others. Shame is the fear of connecting with others vulnerability is the act of showing our true selves to others and connection is when the tr our true selves are accepted by others so if you reveal your true self and it is accepted you create a bond um, the one thing that gets in the way of this um, this is the last thing I'm going to touch on is that is trust Trust is the one thing that gets in the way of this because we don't trust others with our true selves if we've been hurt in the past. It's really difficult to do that because, you know, you say, well, I was vulnerable and I gave myself all to somebody else and they totally destroyed that. They rejected me. They ruined it. And now I don't trust anybody else like that with that. Um, now, me saying out that, that out loud makes me realize how ridiculous it is, but I know that I have felt that in the past, right? Like I've been hurt and I don't want to reveal my true self again because it's going to hurt again and I'm so scared of that. But the truth is that is just such flawed thinking. I mean, if everybody that, if we just took one person who did something and just kind of blanket everybody else of that gender or everybody else for that matter, being like, well, if they did that, then everyone's gonna do that. I mean, we all know that that's just flawed thinking, that that's not true in any case for anything. If somebody is, you know, if somebody's really mean to you, right? And they were not a very good friend, does that mean now that you that nobody's gonna be a good friend? I mean, no, that's ridiculous, right? The only reason why we do this and why we justify that in our heads to ourselves is because we're so scared of being hurt. And the truth is that's a good fear. It's good to have that because you don't wanna be revealing yourself to just anybody, but you have to know that if you're always scared of not revealing yourself, not being your true self, then you know, you're never gonna find true love and that's even worse. That is a fear to me that is even worse. Like I rather get my heart broken and be eating the tubs of ice cream in front of the TV for months and months because it really sucks. I rather have that happen than never experience true love in my whole entire life. Think about it, it's way worse to close yourself off to a potential great relationship or true love, somebody that really cares for you just because you're afraid of being on the couch with the tub of ice cream, you know, for a few months. And I know it sucks, but we all get through it. We all get past it um, eventually. So, you know, just make sure that your next relationship, you go into it with a positive attitude, you trust that person, and you're gonna be ready to reveal your true self without a wall when the time is right. So I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys are thinking about entering the dating scene again, I have an amazing dating uh, mistakes e-course, which goes over the five main mistakes that I see in women when they're dating and helps you overcome those mistakes. It's totally free. I will leave a link in the description below for that. And um, thanks so much for watching the video guys and I'll see you next time.